Hey guys, it's your boy Mark. I uh, wanted to bring you an opportunity for brand new over here in uh, Dallas, Georgia. As you can see, the homes are really, really beautiful. We sold a few out here. Um, I was actually out here for a class, for my real estate class today, and just to um, meet the on-site agents. You know, I'm always trying to build these relationships for you. So, uh, have some opportunities for you out here. As you can see, this is a gorgeous one. It's a basement home. It's, uh, list price is five nineteen nine. It's a four bedroom on a basement. So let's walk it together. It's obviously under construction. And I'll give you a tour of this one next door too. Um, this will all be painted. It's still, like I said, under construction. You can see the nice stacked stone staircase here as well. The nice entrance way. And again, you can kind of see the houses next door. A terrific community that um, Paulding County is one of the fastest growing ones. We've gotten a lot of clients in recently. Uh, brand new state of the art hospital, lots of shopping and restaurants starting to come into the area. So let's walk this one together. Like I said, it's uh, under construction. So I'm going to try to point out, you know, what room is what. And the great thing about this particular um, these standing inventory ones that we can write contracts on them. A few things before I start the tour. As of right now, the incentives are they're going to give you the garage door openers, all the appliances, minus the refrigerator, washer and dryers. Um, but the great thing about it too is they're going to give you 3%. Like sometimes that's up to like $15,000 to use towards your closing costs. Or if you want to buy the rate down even more, they're doing special incentive rates as well. And we could put in an offer for the house. So say, for instance, this one is 519. I can't guarantee it. But if we were able to offer it for like 510 or 505, maybe they're going to take it, especially if you're a very well qualified buyer. So I definitely wanted to bring you the opportunity um, here. So where I'm standing is obviously the foyer area. What I like about it is a nice long wall with an outlet. So you could picture a console table with a mirror or a little lamp. Or you could do it like an art gallery look as well. You can see the uh, foyer light going in. Over here to the right on this particular floor plan, you can do this one as a five bedroom or a four bedroom. When you do the four bedroom, this is what it's look like. it looks like. It has the home office. So you can see on this one, it has the transom uh, window at the top, the French doors with the glass, and a really, really you know large room. What I like about it when you do it as a four bedroom is down the road, if your situation changes, right, and you do need to convert this into a bedroom, as you can tell, all that really is, is, you know, drywalling this one area, putting a door on it, and then adding a closet somewhere in this room, particularly maybe like a corner one here or a corner one there. And for appraisal purposes and added value purposes to convert this into a fifth bedroom. But a lot of people now, it's like if it's just a couple or a person that has just one kid or possibly two kids and that extra guest bedroom is enough for them, don't forget on something like this, you're going to have a basement to finish as well where you're going to be able to get a fifth or sixth bedroom out of it. Uh, but for right now, this is a great area for a home office, make a library look to it. Um, if you're a musician, you know, you can put your musical equipment in here. You can make this into like a wine room or entertaining room or a study. Um, but it's a really, really nice size room. But I like, again, the flexibility down the road if you ever needed to convert it back into a uh, bedroom here on the main level. We walk through here. You're going to see a half bath going in. It has the window. This will be where your uh, prop, most likely, I'm not sure if it's a cabinet, most likely it's a pedestal sink um, and the toilet that will go in here. Your customary a coat closet will be right here. And then we wrap it around. Um, looks like this is going to be a great lot too, just seeing the woods in the back there too. Here's your formal family room. I like the little indentation here in the ceiling to give you the separation. Um, you got shiplap, you got a cedar mantle, you have a gas fireplace. This is a gas and electric community. If I didn't mention up the f at the front, which I don't think I did, it is an HOA community, 875 a year. I think it's like around 1200 for the initiation fee. Um, 
But you're going to get, when you see this clubhouse, the pool, the tennis courts, the walking trails, it's fabulous, fabulous living. Just some ideas after the fact, if you want to do some build outs, um, we want to continue this uh, shiplap wall, you can um, as well down the line. Wall of windows, we'll take a quick peek so you can see right here. What a gorgeous backyard. Um, this is on, on the end of a cul-de-sac, so you pull right into your home. Great, great lot. Wrap it around, and you have this gorgeous kitchen. This has the uh, gray cabinets, the three pedestal, um, or the, the three um, lights above. And you got this beautiful granite countertop with little specks of um, like little silver beading in it. So it really gives a nice shine. You have the subway tile back here, the oversized uh, sink. I like these without the separation. So you could do pots and pans. Again, when you're doing the dishes and stuff like that, this is your view. Look at all the counter space. You have a four burner gas cooktop, this beautiful stainless steel hood, this gigantic island. You could definitely could fit four stools, no problem. You have your microwave and your oven on the wall. That's how we did it when we designed our house too. This is really great and functional. This is where your refrigerator will go. Um, you have the uh, garage here, the two car garage, step up garage. This is where kind of you could do, I'm not sure if this one will have uh, a built in bench, but this would be a great area to build one out if you want to. Your really nice size pantry. You got one, two, three, four, five shelves. So a total of 10 because you have some on this side too. A lot of builders aren't giving you that. And again, your view from over here. While I'm over here, I want to step out into the deck. Another thing that this builder is doing that not all of them do, surprisingly, but not all of them give you a staircase to your backyard. As you can see, this is an absolutely gorgeous backyard. You can see your probably your property line goes down even further. So if you ever wanted to build a pool, the community has a pool. I personally want it unless your money is like that, where you could do a hundred thousand for a pool down the road. Definitely do it. But as you can see, you have a really nice backyard, kind of like a little water feature um, draining off there. You have all this other space. So if your kids play soccer, you want to do like badminton or volleyball during a family gathering you definitely have a ton of space and then just backed up to the woods see the back of the house and then at the bottom we'll see if we can walk out there at the end so looks like you have um, either revwood or hardwood down here as well we're going to go up to the second level this looks like it's not going to have carpet on it it's actually stained and you have hardwoods up here as well Get to the top. One of my favorite features of this floor plan is the washroom. Look at how big it's not just a closet, right? This is important not to everybody, but for a lot of people, especially if you have a big family that's going to be staying here or guests coming. You have your um, dryer vent here, your washing machine, and then look at all the space all the way down. You could do some air shelves here if you want. Down the road, if you want to build out a cabinetry, you can do that. Bedroom uh, number one, really nice size, as you can see, wraps all the way around. And again, just the views. And again, this one is available. Uh, asking price is $519. Uh, let's see if there's any lights in here. Yes. So you probably have either culture, marble, or granite going in here. Got the tile that went down. You got the tub shower, got the um, tile look over here with the toilet. The separation is great. It's a beautiful, beautiful layout. Bedroom number two, really nice size. Again, I probably would put, I think I put my bed here, TV here. You could either even do a stand up dresser, the walk in closet. Bedroom number three, and I'd probably put my bed here. Dresser, flash screen, TV, even could do like a little stand up, like a wing back chair or something, something like that, walk-in closet. This bedroom has its own bathroom, which is really nice when you can get that in the secondary 
So if you have like a teenager or kid and they have their own bathroom. So we saw one, two, three. Now we're going about to head into the master bedroom. You have the towels and linen closet. Now we're gonna head into the primary bedroom. And as you can see, it is just beautiful. You have the tray ceilings with the um, crown molding at the top and the bottom. So you're most likely going to put your bed here at the end of the bed. You could put your love seat or a couple chairs. You could also create a sitting area over here, your flat screen TV, and then just wrapping it around so you can see from this side, you know, plenty of room to put your nightstands as well. And like I said, if you want to create a sitting area over here, this is going to be your views. Absolutely a beautiful home. All right. The bathroom, the ever important one. So there'll be most likely mirrors over here or one big mirror, you'll have either granite, cultured marble, beautiful gray cabinets again, and then you see the beautiful stand-up shower with fully tiled. Again, it's a construction zone, but you can see, I like that they added that transom window, the places for your shampoos and conditioners, soaps, towel and linen, toilet, and let's see if they have a light in here. Yes, and you can see it's a really, really nice size walk-in closet can imagine what you would do, as you heard from other of my videos, this is the standard builder grade, or else you'd probably be paying about another 25, 30,000 for a customized with the builder's prices. Do it after the fact, hire a handyman, do closet spy design, California closet system, Ikea closet system, and uh, lay it out how you want to. I'm gonna wrap it up by showing you the basement. The only difference in this floor plan, and they have other ones if you like this particular one, like I said, it's either a four or five bedroom. Some of them have a, a finished third level, like an attic space. That's really like a loft with another uh, bathroom up there. But I really, really like this uh, layout. So we're gonna go into the basement. This is what I was saying, it's key. Having that home office that eventually you could convert into another bedroom. But makes more sense to me, look at all this space that you're gonna have uh, down here. So you'll have, let me see if I can turn the light on here. I mean, this screams to me, movie theater room, you know, like you're gonna drywall it all up, you're gonna put your big projection screen over here, a little popcorn machine area. You're gonna have space for, it's already stubbed for a whole nother bathroom. This is where the living room is above, so you could create a whole nother living room, or you could drywall this up and convert it into another bedroom because it will have a window in it. And then you have another area, so if you wanted to, you could either make this a bedroom for bedroom number five and six down here, or you can make it into a home gym, you can make it into another, uh, if you have a business, you could run your business out of here. And then to me, this is a perfect space for added um, storage. And then I'll just step out back so you can kind of see this is where they're gonna give you, you know, standard, the concrete patio down the road. If you wanna extend this, you can as well. This is just an absolutely gorgeous uh, backyard. See how tall the house is. I like that, you know, you're not like right on top of your neighbor. You can see how much space you have. So again, this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. Two of the bedrooms have connecting bathrooms directly to it. That home office space, look how big this yard is. And again, amazing amenities. So what we'll do is put you in touch with the lender out here. Look how gorgeous this is. I should take a picture just of this and uh, we'll represent you for free. We'll help you with all the negotiations. Like I said, we'll see if we could put in an offer for you. Right now, the ask price is five nineteen nine. dollars The biggest thing, they're giving you that 3% that could potentially pay for all your closing costs or help you buy down that mortgage um, interest rate. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Great Homes ATL. Mark signing off.